Greetings from all at Ari the Stag. This week's video comes in from our roving reporter Bill Somerville and his son, also known as Wingnut, from Canada. Over to you, Bill. Uh, hi, uh, Spare Tire here from uh, sunny Canada. Actually just waiting on uh, Malcolm Gray turning up in his stag. Uh, he bought his stag recently and on the stag came two wire wheels. So I, I was looking for somebody to donate the two wire wheels that I have spare uh, too, so um, Malcolm's on his way down to pick them up. Uh, but funny enough, like, why, I wonder why you, you've only got two. Uh, and that's simply because Ray Forrester had the four uh, wheels in his stag, and one of them just collapsed and they replaced all four. And then Tanya from Saskatoon uh, was driving down from Saskatoon down to Swift Current, and she drove into the, the garage in uh, Swift Current. Her wheel just simply folded in itself and was done. Uh, so here's a Aria Stag top tip. I don't think you can expect these wheels to last 50 odd years without having them checked out. So I would suggest that you find out what the manufacturer's uh, specifications are for maintenance etc on these wheels and have them checked by a true professional. They have the ability to go side by side and oval. Uh, so if, you're, if your stag's not running as smooth as what it used to run, it may be that your spokes need to be tightened up etc. Uh, any rusty ones replaced. Uh, so that's it. That's it. Now uh, let's move around the front and we'll talk to, uh, we'll chat with uh, Malcolm Gray. See you soon. So hi guys, it's Bill Somerville here from uh, Canada with uh, my sidekick, uh, what do you call him, Dipstick couldn't make it, so uh, Wingnut's taking his place. And we'll show you Wingnut later on. Malcolm uh, Gray just arrived here in his Triumph Stag and he's going to talk a wee bit about his Triumph Stag. So, uh, Malcolm, welcome to uh, Kings, downtown Kingston. Thank you. <laughs> and tell us a wee bit about your car. This car is a uh, Southern California car. From, I think it's San Diego. Yeah. So, a Brit owned it in San Diego, took it back to UK with him, and decided he didn't like driving with the steering wheel on the wrong side of the road. And it put it up to sale for a very reasonable price. So, uh -huh. and my brother found it in England, he's a bit of an old car nut, and we brought it back again. So Excellent. it's been across the Atlantic three times. It's, it's baked, it's, but it's all original. Yeah. Uh, what wasn't original, I've tried to take back to original. It had um, constant velocity joints on the back. Yeah, yeah. I replaced them with... Now at this point the sound went a little bit wonky, so I just thought I'd step in and... Uh, uh, Malcolm was talking about the fact that Tony Fox has the CV joints now. Uh, Bill didn't know that these uh, CV joints were available, but Malcolm said, yes, they were on it, and uh, it was making a noise, so it needed to be sorted and replaced, which he's now done. Um, he talked about the stag being a bit tired, but he uses it every day and thoroughly enjoys it, but that the bushes do need replacing throughout, and the fact that he bought some black ones before the polyurethane ones came out uh, was great and as he said the black ones will see him out no doubt but uh, he may still buy the blue ones even though um, it uh, probably is a bit of overkill but there you go let's go back to the guys now just about to open the bonnet and have a look underneath the engine bay <laughs> <laughs> so there we go there you've got the traditional v8 triumph engine there there's been very little modifications done to this car virtually nothing i'm trying to think what doesn't look original well i think that might be an addition fuel filter uh i bought uh an adapter plate and a holly uh -huh. to put on here now which holly did you get the two car the two barrel three barrel holly i believe oh, it right. I, I, no maybe wrong i've got a boat with a three barrel on i think uh, i can't remember tony fox recommended and i oh, bought it i bought it from down in the States. Yeah, yeah. I got the uh, adapter plate from Tony. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we all know Tony Fox, eh? or Mr. Stagg. Mr. Stagg, here. yeah. Oh. He's been a great help and a great friend for many years. And uh, the Strongbirds kept going. So I'm not a big fan of Strongbirds. I was brought up with SUs. But, yeah. oops, that's, that's me filling up this that's morning. Yeah. Now I notice you've also got the, the original water bottle in there, which I, as we know was always an issue. I'm in the process of uh -huh. buying a, an aluminum radiator. So All I'm right. going to switch it. As you can see, I yeah, have I a, see a, leaking, a yeah. small leak, but it's, it's really small, but I'm worried it's going to blow. So I'm going to treat myself to an aluminum radiator. I've had one overheating problem. I had the, uh, the gasket go yeah. on the top. 
you know, that I caught it just, <laughs> I was coming back at 10 o'clock at night from uh, Kitchener mm -hmm. into Toronto and just pulled off the, the highway and, and I noticed, and saw the steam and, and I caught it. So oh, I was right. so lucky I didn't cook it. Other than that, yeah. and I see this is this is all, this is on this tradition. Is that to, to bleed it? Never used it, but this uh, I mean, it, it is a problem yeah. with these because the the water is too low. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. you've got to make sure you fill it right up to yeah. the very top. Uh, so I've never used that. I flush it, and I might have undone that. I can't honestly remember. But as I said, I just drive it. Oh, I did that little modification. Uh, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, uh, which is, uh, if this lever goes, you, you you're actually stuck. So mm -hmm. that's an emergency. You can reach under and release the release yeah. the bonnet. You need to be careful. Your car doesn't cross out. Doesn't. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That should sit there like that. Right. Yeah. It's nice. It's clean. It's looking good. Many miles have gone up. Two hundred and three, I think. What's not bad. I've been across the Atlantic three times. That's funny. Oh, clutch. Once going to Bronte Creek, pulled off the 401 and the slave went on me. Ah. But with, but just to show you, I had a person working for me who had a Volkswagen Passat at the time. Mm -hmm. His slave went on that. This one, I ordered it from Britain. Within a week I had it. Mm -hmm. It took me half an hour to put a new one on, 10 minutes to bleed it. And I was back on the road for 30 or 40 dollars. Yeah, yeah. His was a $1,500, take the engine out. Fixed in a modern, modern car, so look at the difference. Yeah, I mean, the stag, unfortunately, yeah. the, the component was a Chinese component, so <laughs> not what I would have preferred. But I love this, is so uh, very similar to our own, uh, same color as well. Uh, although I will be changing the color because my wife won't sit in a green car. This is um, laurel, but I'm not sure. This is, a, I, I, I actually matched this to a Jaguar color, Got it. so but it's. It's pretty close. Yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah. That's it's not it's not British racing green. It was called laurel on me. Yeah. I'm I'm okay with it. I was actually looking for a mark. It's a mark one. I was yeah. looking for a mark two. Uh, I kind of like the, the crimson one. I can't remember what it was. Jasmine? No, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but anyway, this has been a good car. Right, well, there's this this uh, Addy the Stag Dakar for your windscreen if you want to put it Thank on. Thank you very much. Let's go. And thank you very much for showing us your car. This is absolutely wonderful. Well, that was us <coughs> wrapping up there, Tony. Um, we had a wee chat later on uh, with uh, Malcolm, and it turns out that we have a lot of things in common. Uh, he used to, he was uh, engineering on the, the Toyota plant and working with big companies in, in Canada, and so was I. Uh, so I'm looking forward to my next meeting with them. Just a quick reminder, if you know anybody who's got a Triumph Stag in Cuba, because I need to go down there for December, and also uh, it looks like I might have a plan, uh, trip planned to uh, India. So I'll be looking for more out there. We'll see you soon. Thanks very much, Tony. Bye-bye. Well, sincere thanks to Malcolm Gray and, of course, Bill and Wingnut for sending us that report in from Canada. Uh, if we can help Bill with any contacts that we may have either in Cuba or India, please just let us know uh, via the website or in the comments and we'll let him know for when he's out there uh, visiting on his business trips and maybe he can even film one or two things for us on the channel. Wouldn't that be good? Um, finally, if you'd like an Ari the Stag badge of honour, as you saw in the film, then check in the description below. We've got a link in there. Just go on the website and we'll send you one free of charge anywhere in the world. OK, that's it for this week, guys, and uh, appreciate all your support. We'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. Cheers for now. Bye.